Do you know what is a plastic anemia? I am a plastic anemia. What is a plastic anemia actually is? A plastic anemia or bone marrow aplasia is a condition when bone marrow stop producing blood cells. Would you want to know what causes a plastic anemia? Generally, a plastic anemia occurs because of the damage of the stem cells in the bone marrow. But, a plastic anemia can occur due to several factors. First, radiation and chemotherapy treatments. The radiation treatment does not only kill healthy cells but also the stem cells. Second, exposure to toxic chemicals. Repeated exposure to some toxic chemical used in pesticides and insecticide may cause a plastic anemia. Third, usage of certain drugs. Some medications such as those used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and some antibiotics can cause a plastic anemia. The fourth one, autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder will cause white blood cells to attack healthy cells which include stem cells in bone marrow. Fifth, viral infection. Some viruses such as hepatitis, parvovirus, B19 and HIV have been linked to a plastic anemia. Last but not least, pregnancy. Autoimmune problem during pregnancy can cause a plastic anemia. So, what is the symptoms of a plastic anemia? Fatigue and shortness of breath Rapid or irregular heart rate Pale skin Frequent or prolonged infection Unexplained or easy bruising Prolonged bleeding, bleeding nose and bleeding gum Dizziness and headache And skin rash But luckily, a plastic anemia is treatable in many ways One is Blood transfusion Blood transfusion can relieve the symptoms by providing new blood cells. The next one is stem cell transfusion. The transfusion is used to rebuild the bone marrow. Besides that, use of immunosuppressant. Immunosuppressant will suppress the immune cells and it helps bone marrow recover and generate new blood cells. Other than that, use of bone marrow stimulant. Bone marrow stimulants can stimulate the bone marrow to produce new blood cells. Lastly, use of antibiotic or antiviral. Antibiotic or antiviral can prevent infection for severe aplastic anemia patient. Gentle reminder, if you are suffering from the aplastic anemia, please immediately get exaltation from a doctor. And please, spread awareness and save a life. Thank you.